Hi everyone, Damien Fate here, and welcome back to LEGO Worlds! Uh, it's been a little while since I logged on, uh, there's not been a lot of new content added to the game lately, so uh, I figured it's about time to add some of my own content! Uh, so we're going to build a farm today. I actually was going around the world and I found a really cool farm build, I'm going to show it to you right now. Uh, I managed to take a copy of it using one of my uh, tutorials that I put out there, and here it is. Lovely little barn house. I think that'd be perfect for a farm. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. We're going to do it on this nice pinkish area. I think that looks like, uh, well, candy grass, perhaps. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and flat the land out first. Get the rolling pin. Here we go. i uh, go with the circle shape. Alright. And I don't know if I've told you guys about this before, but you can actually uh, spawn out animals instead of just going ahead and riding them. So if I spawn out in the world, like some cows and stuff, then that would be perfect for the farm. Alright, let's make a nice biggish area. <clears throat> I'm not worried too much about the uh, the sharpest sharp edges right now because I can go ahead and use the soften tool afterwards. Let's see, is this going to be big enough? Ah, let's make it bigger. Bigger, 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 bigger. There we go. Yeah. Okay, cool. Now we'll go ahead and use the soften tool. Let's go back here. Mm, where was it? Where was the soften? Razor. Ah, smooth. That was it. I was looking for soften. I wasn't looking for smooth. Okay, we'll just make that. See, that looks a bit nicer there. Less steep edges. Look like it blends in as much as possible. Go all the way around like that. Cool. Alright, now we can just put out the barn. Da -da -da -da. Oh wow, it's way bigger than I remember. <laughs> it's quite large. Okay, well, that's not a problem. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Which way do I want the animals to be? Should they be facing the lake or the ocean? Yeah, maybe so. Right, let's make sure the front of the building is facing the ocean. I'm going to pop it right next to this candy cane and lollipop. Hopefully it doesn't break them. It shouldn't do. Yeah, I think that looks great. Let's pop it there. Ta-da! So they're adding a new content patch pretty soon to LEGO Worlds. And the new content patch is going to add the cave system. So we'll be able to go underground and found re find really cool caves. I'm looking forward to that. That will be a fun episode of adventures. Alright, okay. So, yep, it looks good. I think that looks pretty sweet. Look inside it, yes. And uh, when I found this out in the world, you can climb up on the side here and there was a treasure chest. Uh, obviously, there's no treasure chest here because you can't copy those. Uh, which is actually a bit of a shame. They should let us do that. But I think that looks pretty cool. Uh, let's see, maybe if I have, yeah, have the have the fenced area over on this side for the animals. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, we're gonna have to flatten a bit more land though because the barn took up way more space than I thought it was going to do. Okay, let's flatten this out over here. All around the sides. I want to keep that lollipop there. And, uh, yeah, if I use the flatten too, tool too close to it, it'll probably destroy it. We don't want that. Well, I don't want that anyway. <laughs> okay, yeah, I think that's probably a big enough area. And, oh, I missed a bit. Oh, I don't want to use lower terrain. Hey, look at those cool tools for lowering terrain. Huh, I never actually looked at those before. Okay, uh, back to the flatten tool. Here we go. And just like that. Alright, one second. Ah, sorry about that. Okay. Why is there a hole there? There's a weird thing that happens when you're messing with the train sometimes and you get little holes. And I can see down through it. I can see underneath the ocean. You see that? That's pretty cool. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and make a fence. Now I think there are some fences that already exist in the game as props. So I'm going to look through. Uh, I have 
I think I bought all the props in the game, so if we see it, uh, it should be pretty easy to put out. Let's see, where are you, fence? Where are you? Oh, well, there's a very scary stone-looking wall there. I don't want to use that. Oh, there's a fence. Uh, it's a bit, a bit broken, but I think that should work. Let me see if there's any more fences in here. Uh, oh, yeah, there's more fences there. Oh, and look, there's a trough. Great, that'd be perfect for the animals to eat from. All right, let's go ahead and get the long fence part to start off with. Oh, it's a little bit shorter than I thought it was going to be. Oh, that's not a problem. I think it looks great. Okay, so let's start by making... Oh, why, I can't rotate. I can't rotate this. What's up with that? Turn clockwise, anti-clockwise. That's weird. You can't use the uh, the D-pad on the, on the controller to rotate it like everything else. Oh, well, that's not a problem. Uh, so let's actually rotate it two more times. I'm going to start around here. Now, the only thing is... In this game, there is there's no uh, fence. Uh, there's no gate that I can put in the fence, uh, so I'll have to just jump over it. And I don't think the animals can get out. Is that as close as I can get it? Yeah. It's not. Let me put it down. Hey, come on now. What is it doing? It's being really silly. I think I might have to use the mouse to place it down, which is a bit different. If I try to use the controller, it doesn't let me put it down. Okay. Oh, there we go. No, just just the one. This is very strange. Okay, I think I've got it working. Um, if I just move my camera around with the controller, <laughs> and then I, I seem to be able to use the mouse just fine. So let's uh, see. Controller, mouse. Controller, mouse. Ah, oh, yes. Now we're cooking. Now we're getting this done. And I just remembered, I think there are actually sheep in the game, weren't there? I remember finding a sheep before. I thought it was a bunny from a distance. Not one of my best moments, but you know. <laughs> it was a little bit tricky. I was too excited with everything else going on. This game does excite me quite a bit. Come on, get down there, fence. Luckily, the sun is up now, so I can see a pretty good shadow, which means it is not on the ground when I see that. Uh, how close are we to the end? Oh, we're getting pretty close. I actually turned it just at the right time, I think. And then turn this once more. And... Voila! A nice fenced area for animals. Oh, but I need to do something about this thing. Uh, can I punch it? Yes! Yeah, there we go. Just like a real farmer, punching things down when you don't need it anymore. Alright, so let's have a look at the animals. Uh, I'm going to use a mouse here because you can drag it off uh, pretty easily with the mouse. And let's see what we got. Oh wait, there's horses and pigs and... You know what? I don't know why I had such a hard time figuring out which ones we could have. So we will have one of each. We'll have a brown bull. What? Why am I using my camera for that? That's very strange. Uh, a black and white bull. A brown cow. How now, brown cow? A black and white cow. Uh, oh yes, a black horse. Oh, this is going to be fantastic. A white horse. I'm glad that I went around and found all these things. It would have been a very lonely farm without them. Oh, definitely some sheep. Let's have more than one sheep, though, I think. Uh, maybe like three, I think, is a good number. Since I've got... Even numbers of pretty much everything else. Oh, they're running away. <laughs> I hope they're not too scared of me. Uh, definitely some pigs. You know what I'll have to do is I'll have to paint a little bit of the area brown uh, for the piggies. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to ride that one. Let's go ahead and spawn another pig. Oh, and there's goats. Man, there's so many animals in this game. This is awesome. Okay, a goat there. I keep clicking on the cars. Oh, that's another sheep. Okay, well, we're going to have another sheep. Another goat. Another goat. And what else do we have? Camels, bears. Uh, oh, there's puppies. Well, I don't think I'm going to put the puppy in here. Uh, let's put a camel in here. Why not? <laughs> it's our farm. We can do what we want. Nobody can tell us what to do. But wow, look at that. Oh, a piggy got out. How did you get out, Mr. Pig? 
Hey, come here. I'm going to ride you back in there. Come on now. There we go. <laughs> now that's certainly an easy way to wrangle the animals in a farm if you could just jump on their back and ride them back in there. Come here, you. Did I make this too easy to get out of? Oh, you guys are just jumping over it. Well, I'm going to have to put another layer of fence in then, aren't I? Although, wow. That, that bull could jump very high. Okay, you guys. You know what? You could be free range. That's always good. People are always pressuring farmers to have free range animals. So you could be free range uh, on the uh, condition that you can actually escape. <laughs> uh, so anyway, there was the, the, the doggies. Yes, the dogs. That's what I wanted. I'm going to put some of these out. Puppy! It's a shame there's no little cats in the game, but uh, pretty much every animal you can ride, so... <laughs> I don't think you'd be able to ride on the back of a little cat. But there we go, puppies. Hi! Oh, I wish I could feed them a bone or something. Oh, actually, you know what I can do? I can sort of feed them a bone. If I become a skeleton. There we go, dinner time! <laughs> can we get me? Oh, they're not chasing me. That's sad. <laughs> oh, there we go. That was a really easy build. A nice little farm for the for the uh, the cake land. I love it. Oh, you know what? I need to do the little muddy area for the pigs. Let's do that real quick. Uh, that's being the terrain tool. So we're going to go to uh, the paintbrush. I passed it. It was right at the beginning. And we're going to go ahead and choose these brown colors. And uh, put soft paint on. Yeah. All right, piggies, look, I got a nice little brown area for you. Since we're in the candy biome as well, we should say that that is chocolate. <laughs> yeah, let's, this pig loves it. He's like, oh, thank you so much for the chocolate. Oh, he's eating it all up. Lovely. <laughs> well, that's pretty much it for today. Thank you very much for joining me. I'm sorry it's short, but uh, I'll, be, I'll be doing some longer videos when there's some more content to show you. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please do give it a like and subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.